This cozy bubble quilt is a fun, eco-friendly way to use up bits of scrap fabric or reclaimed fabric. It's also super cozy and warm and perfect as a gift for yourself or loved one. Because of the hexagon shaped pieces, you can create this in a number of configurations and keep adding until you're happy with the size. To make this quilt, you will need fabric for the inside, and this can be just about any non-stretch plain fabric. It can be ugly fabric too, because you won't see it in the finished quilt. Then you'll want some more decorative or pretty fabric for the top. You could make these hexagons any size, but I will include a link to the template that I used in the description below. As you can see, the plain fabric is slightly smaller than the top decorative fabric, and this is because you will be gathering along the edge here, and then you'll want to baste your edge all around, except for a small area you'll want to leave open so that you can stuff your piece. As you can see here, I am gathering this as I go, but if you wanted to, you could actually take just your top piece and baste around the edges, and then use that basting stitch to gather your edges. Or again, you could do it like I'm doing here but just be careful to not get your fingers. And as you may have noticed, I'm not being very precise here and that is totally fine because this is a very forgiving project and you don't really have to be exact. Now that I've stitched around and left an opening, I'm ready to fill my piece. I'm using a fiber fill that I really like. It has a really nice texture and so I will link to that below. And please note that you do not need very much stuffing for this at all. Um, just a tiny bit will do. You're not going to pack it like you would a plush doll because then your quilt would be really too heavy and just difficult to manage and wash. Once you have a number of pieces stuffed, you can stitch across that opening if you wish, or you can simply begin piecing your hexagons together. Pin one side together, then stitch. I used a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Once you have two pieces stitched together, you can add a third and be very careful about which sides you sew together so that you're not making a crazy shape. You want your quilt to lie flat. So stitch up to this corner here, stop, and then you will carefully, with your needle down, turn. So it should look something like this. You can clip your corners and edges so that your piece lies more flat and it shouldn't look like this. And then just continue to add pieces until you build your quilt up to where you want it to be. I made a somewhat smallish lap quilt and the back looks like this. So it's pretty rugged, but we will be covering this part up. But first, we're going to make a ruffle for the edge. The ruffle is totally optional, so if you don't want that, go ahead and skip to the backing part. The ruffle, I cut strips of cotton muslin about three inches wide. To figure out exactly how long you need to make your strips, be sure to check the link in the description, which will take you to my blog where I share my method for finding the length you need. I'm using a flat fell seam to piece my strips together, and once I have one long strip of ruffle material, I begin hemming. However, do not hem the first couple and the last couple of inches. Now pick any spot on your quilt and grab your ruffle piece a few inches away from the end. With the right sides together, begin stitching your ruffle to your quilt along the edge. And you can gather this as you go, or again, you can use a basting stitch together. When you are a few inches away from being finished, you will have two ends, as you can see here, and attach those with a flat fell seam, continue stitching across the quilt and ruffle, and then hem it. Now, with your backing fabric right side up, lay your quilt right side down so the right sides are touching and I used safety pins to pin all around the edges. Make sure this is laid out smooth and then you can begin cutting along the edge. After it's cut out, stitch the edge with a half inch seam allowance and be sure to leave an opening um, of about maybe a foot, eight inches. Be sure it's big enough that you can turn your quilt right side out. Before you turn your quilt, trim and clip the corners, being careful to not clip your stitches. So where you have a notch, you will want to cut a little V, and then where you have corners that are facing out, you'll want to cut across, trimming off the excess. Once you've trimmed all the corners, you can turn your quilt right side out, and you can press around so that your edge is flat, and then you will need to close up that hole. So taking a needle and thread, anchor your thread, and hand sew a ladder stitch or a whip stitch through the ruffle and the backing.
once you finish closing up your edge, you can actually lay your quilt flat and pick 10 or 12 areas evenly spaced out where you will want to tack your quilt down. So basically, I just anchored my thread and ran a few stitches through the front toward the back, and this way it kind of keeps the back and the front from shifting around. Now you have a finished bubble quilt to enjoy that will be very cozy for the coming winter. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already for more crafty content. You can also check out my blog at mothandrustdiy.com where you'll find free patterns, tutorials, and a lot more.